some years ago, I was invited to go to an underground uh, research facility in El Paso on the Mexican-American border. And this was a place where they were doing these sort of technologies that are transdimensional, but medical applications, major stuff, technologies that literally electromagnetic transdimensional technologies where they can, if someone had a missing limb, they can attach to the subtle body, you know, the, the mystics call astral body, but that energy, like you have phantom pain, and regrow it. Here's the issue. The same technology that gives you that would give you free energy to run your house because it's in that same, let's call it constellation of extraordinary technologies that they would want to keep secret. So there are a lot of spin-offs beyond energy propulsion in the environment that will benefit humanity once we can get the first level of this out. Because it, it, it's unbelievable how backward uh, even our medical technology is compared to what's possible. So that's also a very bit of good news. This is why I've called for um, sort of a uh, Marshall Plan for the planet for new energy in the environment that is supported and funded by individuals in an open source way and not expecting, I think it's you know, silly to expect the government of the United States or any other government to get behind doing something that brings out the most disruptive technologies in the history of the human race, let's be blunt. But it also creates a new civilization and it saves our future. So if it, this had been introduced slowly from the early 20th century, 100 years ago, to now, we'd be okay. But now we've run out of time because of what's happening to the biosphere, geopolitically, population boom. So in order to create uh, you know, enough change quickly enough, we're gonna have to do something very different, very uh, fundamentally different than what we've been doing.